If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Welcome to Cuisine with Jean, and we are absolutely delighted to have Captain Claudia Meads with us today from the Salvation Army. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's so good to be here. And I have to say, you are, you are the best sport ever, because I asked you last week, and you said, sure. So, I mean, who does that, folks? This is, not only is she going to make several really good recipes, but she very, very accommodating. So, mm -hmm. thank you. And I, very briefly, I was at the Salvation Army because of your Joshua's Challenge program teaching third graders to bring them up to speed with reading skills. And we'll talk about that a little bit more during yeah. the show, but that's that's just a wonderful, one of many wonderful initiatives of our Salvation Army. Oh, thank you. So, oh, and, and you're from Brazil? I'm from Brazil, yes, ma'am. And have a, a beautiful accent um, and are married to Lieutenant Meads, who is also with you at our local Salvation Army. Yeah, and he's from Greenville, North Carolina. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got two little kids. Yes, we do. We How? have Micah, he's two, he's two years old, and Lila, that is six months. Oh, wow. Well, you don't look like you have a six-month-old. Way to go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're going to make pasta salad, mm -hmm. and I know there's a beautiful kitchen at the Salvation Army, and I was told that you prepare all the snacks for the kids coming after school, but um, you like to cook a lot, too, don't you? I like to, and uh, we have a seniors program, and I do the meals for them every week, too. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have a chance to um, share with them what we have, and and it's very good. It's, it's a time of fellowship to meet at the table and mm -hmm. talk. It's very good. Well, and, and third graders are like bottomless pits being hungry, aren't they? I mean, that they just can't wait to get there and eat. So it's um, funny you say that because in the beginning people say, oh, it's just a snack. Uh -huh. But they're hungry. Yeah. They're really hungry. <laughs> so they're really looking for hamburgers and a, a really mm -hmm. something that I don't know if they I ask them sometimes, you're not eating at lunch or sometimes they don't like what is offered or sometimes they're too busy uh, mm -hmm. playing and they, they don't want to eat. And they also, I think they sometimes go early mm -hmm. and so there's a big block so, between then and when they go. So, yeah. okay, so you're going to make pasta salad and I have to tell you, Claudia, this is really, I love that. And this time of year when you don't want to heat up the kitchen and whatnot going mm -hmm. into the summertime. And you can make it ahead of time, can't you? And oh, yeah. It... And it's a good if someone is grilling outside and uh -huh. or you're coming to a cookout with somebody you had to bring something that's easy to, to put together and bring to the house that you're going. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what have you done so far? So I boiled the, the noodles here. And you mm -hmm. can do, like, the bow ties. I just like this one, the penny, because... It's my favorite, but and I like that it's colorful that adds mm -hmm. something. But you can use whatever. You can use whole grain or whatever you had. So I have two cups here. It's pretty much half of the box. Mm -hmm. At home, I just pick up the half of the box, kind of eyeball it, and put to boil, and I, I follow the instructions, and, mm -hmm. and I like a little bit tender. Okay. So I do that. And it, uh, we can already put it here if you want to. What? Do you, do you want to add stuff to it there? Or do oh, you we need can. To... You can. Okay. You can. That would be fine. And then I have um, tuna. Mm -hmm. I have drain. Uh, you open the can and just drain and, and, and dump in here. It's, you'll see that it's like just dumping in here and then uh -huh. mixing together. Okay. It's like you don't know what you're having for dinner and you come home, boil the pasta, pick up something in your pantry and put together. And good source protein. I grew up with my mom. We had lots of canned tuna. And it, it's I tried some of the in the full patch, pouches with the water in it, uh, it's mm -hmm. not as good. No, it's not. The canned tuna, I think, still. Dehydrated. It right? is dehydrated, and I thought, oh, boy, yeah. I'm back to the can. This or, is good. Maybe you're not a fish person, and, you know, you don't want to eat tuna. You can just, like, if you have a leftover chicken, mm -hmm. you can just 
slap for it. Or chicken. even shrimp. I would think maybe oh, some cooked shrimp. Oh, that would be fancy. I never did it. it. Yeah, that would uh, be nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you can, uh, what happened in my house is my husband doesn't eat a raw tomato. Uh-huh. So I, instead of putting tomato here, they'll be very fresh for the salmon and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I do the bell peppers. Mm-hmm. And what I do is I use the three collars. Mm-hmm. And if you buy all the ingredients for this recipe, you can make pretty much two dishes with the with whatever you buy. Like oh, the box, you can make another dish. The uh-huh. the bell peppers, you'll make another dish. So I think it's a very so affordable. You, and you could double it actually. You yeah, know, right if, if you have a, you big a big family. family. Yes, so mine is still in the bottom stages. But if you have a big family, you can you can. Uh-huh. Definitely a double. Okay. And we're going to have the recipe on our website, Cuisine with Jean. So you don't need to be writing this down right now, folks. But it sounds like you've got some flexibility, too, with what people want to put in it. Oh, yeah. That, I, I know, like, some people don't or maybe don't like bell peppers. Mm-hmm. And then, I love or, bell peppers. Or let's say that you're just watching this and you think, well, I don't have bell peppers, but I have some tuna and I have some corn and peas on my pantry. Do it at that. Put uh-huh. a cup of, uh, half a cup of a uh, corn, a half a cup of peas, and you have a different mm-hmm. pasta salad too. Or cucumbers, you could put cucumbers. Cucumbers in there. too would be very fresh. Grated yeah. carrots, maybe. Do you think you put yeah. some grated carrots in there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What What does your recipe and the call carrots, for next? The carrots would be very good with the raisins. So let's put this next. Okay. So that's a difference. I like a little sweet with everything. Um, uh-huh. I know that is not everybody that will like that. But uh, you don't like raisins, you just skip this. But I think with the carrots that you said, it would be very good to mm-hmm. taste with together. Okay. Uh, so the it's like three tablespoons of raisins. So if you want to mm-hmm. be more generous, it's up to you. And then you have salt, right? I would think this would be something that people have young kids. Of course, not two is still a little bit young. <gasps> oh, yeah, but yeah. Could help them make it. Yeah, you definitely can. Because really, you have just to separate and, and give them some thing to do with mm-hmm. you and they'll be so proud and people say that if they're doing with you mm-hmm. they're more prone to eat it yeah and try something new so i've heard that too i'll yeah. try that too who's not gonna like something that they they help they help to make but i have to laugh when you said your husband doesn't like tomatoes so you leave those out yeah, right. people at home are laughing on that yeah mine doesn't either or he doesn't <laughs> like this or he doesn't <laughs> so yeah adapt and i mm-hmm. like bell peppers and you know we have a lot of vitamins here the yellow have mm-hmm. vitamin c so he's good so he's getting he's getting his veggies and whatever he needs. Mm-hmm. Um, we have uh, regular mustard, mustard, just regular mustard, a tablespoon. And you think like, oh, I'll be, be strong. And all that will won't, but it gives a kick that I think it makes a difference mm-hmm. uh, if you want to try. But Is this an original recipe or did you get it, it from somebody else? I made it. You made it? Good. And it, this was really being busy, coming home and saying, what do we have for dinner? Like, ugh. So let's do, and he is all about pasta, yeah. so he likes pasta, so we did that. I can boil this, and put the, the pasta to boil when I'm mm-hmm. taking my uniform out and getting my clothes, uh, comfortable clothes to be at home, and then I just grab the things, chop, put together, and sometimes I really pick up this because mm-hmm. it's a little warm still with the noodles and put it in the freezer mm-hmm. <laughs> just to cool out a little bit, and we are ready for dinner. But you are captain at Salvation Army on Hunter Hill Road, um, yes, and it's the Penny Barnhill Worship, Worship Center. Center. How nice. I mean, gosh, it couldn't be named after a nicer person than Penny Barnhill. That's just she wonderful. Is, she is. But she the is old Telegram. Very generous family. Oh, yeah. And it's at the, where the Telegram was for a while, um, but it's there, and it's just beautiful. And But you work, your husband, Lieutenant mm-hmm. Meads, works there, too. You've got two small children who are in daycare. No wonder you like fast, easy things. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't know how you keep it all together. And I mean, but you're doing a great job. Ah, uh, thank so, you. And uh-huh. we're like, we had church yesterday and preparing for this. And then, but mm-hmm. it is a joy. It's a joy to be here. It is always the ministry that we're yeah. doing for people. And we want to share the love. So that's a mm-hmm. uh, meat's recipe. <laughs> okay. So, and then um, for not to be so heavy on... On uh, mayonnaise, I split with Greek yogurt. Mm-hmm. So it had to be the plain one, no vanilla. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sometimes it's tough to find it, but uh, you will put half a cup of... Of course, you get a lot of extra protein, too, with the Greek yogurt. It is a healthy mm-hmm. recipe. If you have the kids doing with you, he, they will try and be proud that, that they're doing this. So I think it would be nice. 
And then how, if you make this, and I know you throw it in the freezer, <laughs> so chill for that night, but I would think it still be good the next day or two. I mean, the flavors be. continue In a couple blending. days. A couple of days, they will be there. And, of course, this will be better because the the raisin will soak a little bit with mm -hmm. the... The mayonnaise and the yogurt, and you mm -hmm. you feel that it is more soft and everything. Mm -hmm. So for some freshness, green onions and parsley. If mm -hmm. you don't like it, you can skip it too. But I think bring some greens. It's good for you. It's a lot of nutrients. They're very it's good pretty. for you. And, and, and we do eat pretty. with our eyes too. So yes. that would be a. I think it's important, right? Mm -hmm. So that's it. Um, I have pepper and I have something that I don't like to use ground pepper. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll go the fresh one and it will look at me and say, well, but I put it there is a fourth of a teaspoon mm -hmm. and I measure, <laughs> but it's like, like five times mm -hmm. in a shake. <laughs> and you did put salt in earlier. Yes, right? I okay. did. So it's and pretty much bell peppers, the tuna, raisins. You have the parsley and the green onions, the raisins, mayonnaise, and green yogurt. I don't think it may be something that you have in your um, in your refrigerator, in your pantry, and you can adapt whatever is good for your family. You know? Well, and the fact that it's easy, um, it's good for you, and it's very economical. I mean, you can't beat all those things, and this time of year is just wonderful. We're going to take a break, and you're going to make a cake when we get back. An easy right. cake, folks. It looks wonderful. We'll be right back. If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right. They're on the lot, fully inspected, and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park, or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks, and parties. So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with the hand-finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like, I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. And we're back with Captain Claudia Meads of the Salvation Army. Your bus has N-E-W, what? What are the, how many counties do you cover? We, we serve Wilson. three, three counties. It's Nash, Edgecombe, and Wilson counties. And Wilson, three counties. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and I was there when you were picking up cute kids from Benvenue. And folks, they are taking, they have launched here but are y'all the first ones to do it? I'm trying to think. Claudia's Here challenge. Here in, in Rock Mountain, uh -huh. yes. Claudia's challenge. I mean, um, Joshua's, Joshua's challenge. challenge. And these kids are the happiest little kids. And they, if they could be, well, they're not so little, but <laughs> if they could, I don't know how they could be more proud of themselves. These were students who needed a little extra help to be able to master reading competency, which is hugely important in a child's educational life. And the Salvation Army has taken on the responsibility. I think you've got 20 to 21 kids now. 21 now. And you hire teachers to come and they work with them. The pride of those young people of saying, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I can do it now. And somebody was telling me, I think it was Amelia Harper who's gonna join us, she said, when they get it, it's like a light bulb turns on. Yes. And it's, 
wow, I have it, folks. And it's just opening the key to the rest of their academic life. Yeah, and it's important that they have the same teachers. Uh-huh. And because if you're not good at that, you don't want to, how you open up to another person. So yeah, we are very, very, very pleased that Benvenue uh, came aboard and say we would do it. And the teachers said they will come. Mm-hmm. And it, we just really giving them this extra time and have less distractions for them to succeed. Mm-hmm. Well, and you're going to try and expand. Are you planning to expand the program to Edgecombe County yes, next ma'am. year? Yeah, and that's what we want. We just need uh, as much as we have resources, we will uh, to pay and, and furnish the, the snack for the kids. We will uh, go to Edgecombe County. And, and nobody loves this community and nurtures and takes care of this community better than the Salvation Army. So thank you so thank much you. for all you do. Thank you so much. And now you can nurture our bodies. <laughs> so what are we going to make? Um, I was thinking I'd make a cake. Okay. Um, because I'm from Brazil, I'm making a cake that I call, if you translate, is Aunt House Cake. It's um, bolo formigueiro, and it's because it has sprinkles on it in the batter, and, and that's why it looks like it has the, the ants on ants it. Ants on it. Well, but now don't get turned off, folks. They're chocolate bits, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, and it's easy. It's like a one-bowl cake, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we, we, you start, of course, preheating your oven to 350 mm-hmm. in a way that you've done. And in a mixing bowl, you have your sugar first, and you do one cup and a half, mm-hmm. and then you put in your butter. Is that softened? It it is just regular butter. Okay. It is just not salted. I was gonna wonder if if you've got to mix it up well, it would be. It's not just straight out of the refrigerator. So no, it's not. Good. It, it's in room temperature. It would be um, health. So yeah. how, how much butter is that, Claudia? It is uh, two tablespoons. Okay. All right. And you have that, and you just okay. mix Is this it up. a recipe that you would make when you before you moved here from Brazil? Yeah, that's a very, if you talk to any Brazilian, it's a very like, oh, come on, she could do something more uh-huh. intricate. That's so simple, is every mom will do it. It is like... You had to have for a snack, or and you can even do that and put a cupcake in and send to the with lunch for the lunch bags for the kids. But it's just very simple for you to have with coffee or have with tea. It's not uh, not complicated. We're proud of simple. We're that's <laughs> not. You don't need to apologize. We like <laughs> things that are easy to to pull together. And I like that it's from Brazil because you actually grew up there, lived there, and then at, were an officer. In yeah. the Salvation Army, you're a captain, and you met your husband in America, right? We, um, we, yes, it was. We, we have a. He had a teacher that was from Brazil. That he is from Brazil, and he uh-huh. serves here uh, and mm-hmm. in the states. And he, he introduced us. So then we fell in love, got together, and fell in love. And I, I did the the courageous thing and uh, say, let's do this in another country and speak English 25 by 7. It is not easy. There's a lot of uh, the cultures that we miss, Mm -hmm. uh, like smells and cooking. Uh, Mm -hmm. But there's a couple things like you, anybody that is not Brazilian can do, and you can say they have a Brazilian cake Mm -hmm. today for for dinner. And you speak Portuguese, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Are you going to teach your children to speak Portuguese? I try, but it's... uh, it, I try, but it's uh-huh. my it's tough because my 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 husband doesn't speak English uh-huh. Portuguese, so uh-huh. I have to um, be very intentional about mm-hmm. it. Because I, when we are together, I was speaking English, um, and I have really not much opportunities to mm-hmm. to to speak Portuguese. But I, I'll I'll do my best. Well, and any little bit because my older son is married to a lady from Romania. And she is teaching their little almost two-year-old to speak Romanian. And she does FaceTime with her parents, and they speak Romanian back and forth. So maybe that would be a way with FaceTime yeah. with the, your that, relatives. We, we do this with my, uh, and he, he talks, but if Micah, that's a two-year-old, he'll talk, he was speaking English, he won't say uh-huh. Portuguese. 
Do your parents understand English? No, no. but it's, for now, it's just like with his attention span, it's just, hi, oh. hello, bye. And he's gone. <laughs> right. Okay. So you have, but, you have butter. And you don't have this. to, like, if you want to put it in, in the blender, you, you, have, you can do it, but mm -hmm. it is just very easy. And then you put your, oh, I'm sorry, you do your, your eggs first. Okay. Got two eggs? Yes. You want me to start while you put yeah. them in? Okay. So we will do... And it's just one this. at a time. And you're going to put this in a bunt pan. Is that traditional in it's Brazil? It's traditional. That... Uh, we do a lot of bunt cakes in, in Brazil. And mm -hmm. I learned here that we don't do much here in America, right? Uh, well, we used to. So and, and, um, and it's more because it is to, supposed to be like an ant's house. You know, when you see an ant's house, it's kind of come. Oh. And I think it traditionally has to go in a bunt cake because of the design. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, you did that. Right oh, there thank you. Go. you. <laughs> so that's it. And then you just put two cups of flour. Mm -hmm. uh, the flour of your preference. Of course, it's how the... And is it self-rising flour or is no, it just, just regular. regular flour? Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you... Um, so the eggs are what's going to help it kind of you know, have expand the, a little mm -hmm. bit. Elasticity. But uh -huh. you, it's not a self-rising, but will you put... Um, uh, what do you call this? Baking, baking powder. Baking powder. Okay, <laughs> yeah. there you go. So we'll put baking powder on. Uh -huh. I just, I think it's, it's more expensive if you go for self and rising powder. Yeah. Well, and you and can it, do it. And the baking powder. Home. I mean, most people yeah. have baking powder around. Yeah, so. home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when it starts getting tough for you mm -hmm. to mix. Pour the milk in? You pour the milk in. You mean do it slowly or all yeah, at once? Yeah, slowly. It'll be good. Okay. Um, I'll let you do the work and I'll pour. How about that? That'll be good. And tell, tell me the name of this again. In, in Portuguese? In Portuguese. Formigueiro. Formigueiro? Formigueiro. Because ant, uh, the ant is formiga. Uh -huh. And formigueiro is the house of the, the ant. So oh, okay. So it's house of the ant, folks. That's kind of cute. <laughs> so this looks like, and I know that maybe you're like, oh, that's disgusting. Why I'll... I'll eat a, a cake that is full of ants, but it's it's just a it's play on words. Yeah. I'll go ahead there and we go. So, it in. Okay. Yeah, so you have a cup of whole milk. Do you use whole milk? Or? I use whole milk, yeah. Okay. If we're doing a cake with sprinkles, we should. And I'm missing my sprinkles. I will use What's in here. That's butter. butter. Okay. We will use a fourth a cup. We can get we have got Amelia. Who is going to to join us? Yes, thank you. <laughs> and you'll be thank back you. shortly, okay? <laughs> Thanks for being my backup. Uh huh. So it, we use one fourth a cup of okay. chocolate sprinkles. So you do, and it's very smooth. When it's smooth, you won't. When you put your sprinkles, you don't want to be mixing. You know, it's too them hard. All in. But you don't want to mix too hard. So um, if you want to put, you want to put the how many? It's all, all of it. It's, okay. Yeah. We'll do one fourth. Of a cup, okay. so you'll be gentle now to stir, and that's why we call ant house cake because it looks like it's so you get chocolate sprinkles, and then you're going to put it in here. Yeah, well, we, what I'll do always for you to have success in coming out of that, uh -huh. I will uh, coat it with butter and then. Uh, put some flour on top and just and then put make... it in there. And how long and at what temperature? Forty minutes. Uh huh. Three fifty. Three fifty. Okay. And then you let it cool a few minutes in the pan for, before you for them to put in your before serving. Before you take it. And dish. if, if y'all hadn't done that, it does. You do need to let it sit in the pan a few minutes when you take it out because yeah. I we'll found break it. <laughs> right. And you'll have a. I don't know what. You just have a big pile of stuff. <laughs> so, okay. We'll be right back and show you the finished products. If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Your cabinets draw the most attention in your kitchen. They have to last through the hard use of a happy home. Family dinners, game nights, late night snacks, and parties. 
So when it's time to upgrade or to renovate that kitchen of yours, maybe even to build that dream kitchen in your new home, do you really want to settle for cabinets that could be subpar, do you? Where can you find quality cabinets along with customer service that you can depend on? The solution is simple. You buy your cabinets from a locally owned family business, Magasin Cabinets. Magasin Cabinets sells cabinets that combine solid traditional quality construction with the hand-finished look that is simply stunning when on display. Customer service uh, was great. I had a warm feeling about the whole situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, I felt like, I felt great about coming here and giving him my business. The owners, Dennis and Lorna, pride themselves on their work and ensuring your satisfaction. When it's time to upgrade, choose Magasin. They have a quality you can trust from locals you can depend on. Claudia, we are joined by Amelia Harper, the fairly recent community development officer mm -hmm. at the Salvation Army. You, people saw you around with the telegram, yeah. and, and we miss you. You did a really good <laughs> job. Well, thank you, but I'm loving my new job as the community development director, and so um, so I love the needs. They are <laughs> fantastic to work with, and I've already learned a lot from them. So. Well, Great. And that's nice. Well, and you, you agreed to come and eat, right? Yes. I, I was doing no work, Thank but just you. eating. So okay, that's... you want to serve a little bit of each of these? Wow, this looks great. And the cake, I mean, this is just a really neat-looking cake, isn't it? It is. It is. Oh, gosh, that's a lot. And is I, it lunchtime? I, <laughs> I like cakes that don't have a lot of heavy frosting on them. Oh, yeah. Like this, oh, so. yeah. That's you. And that's really... I mean, I like the, the brownness of it. it it's for a fairly dense cake, too, isn't it, it is. Claudia? Which is great. And you mentioned you could put it, make um, muffins, like put it in yeah, little muffin things for kids. Yeah, stuff. And do four. It's almost like what I think of as a coffee cake. Uh -huh. Yeah. But I tell you, you put one of these in somebody, some kid's lunch pail, that's going to be really I know. That's really like happy. Oh. Yeah. Well, um, while we're doing this, Claudia, while we have our mouths full, <laughs> would you please tell us about the worship services you've got oh, at the yeah. Salvation Army? So if you don't know, the Salvation Army is a church, and uh, me and my mm -hmm. husband are in, nominated here for Rocky Mount and uh, Nash, Hedge, Columbia, Wilson counties. And we have services at 1000 Hunter Hill Road. Sunday, we have Sunday school at 10, and 11, we have our worship service. You're welcome to come if you uh, you come as you are, and we're uh, happy to have you and love you and show the love that Jesus that we have. Uh, we have also um, this Saturday we have a, a fellowship uh, breakfast that then we split the groups and have devotional mm -hmm. and activities with the ladies and then the men group. We have seniors program. We have uh, Monday and Thursday. We have exercise. It's a chair exercise and some steps. So everybody can do it. Mm -hmm. And it's at 10 o'clock. And uh, we have devotions before and pray together. And then we have exercise. And then Wednesdays, we have a whole program. It's a two-hour program. You always have a theme on it. Um, and we have we play bingo, we have fellowship with the seniors, and we always finish with uh, lunch. Mm -hmm. So you're out. Uh, and they get lunch. I mean, you feed them. Yes. Wow, yes. how nice! And I cook for that too. Yes. <laughs> okay, folks, this could not. What do you think? It's great. It's, it's lightly sweet, and the cake is. So I like that. And the, the raisins. Are you guys think about the raisins? Oh, I like, yeah, it. I like, I like it. it. It has it has more full flavor than mm -hmm. I anticipated. Most, okay. a lot of pasta salads, you mm -hmm. don't get kind of a real rich flavor. Right. Folks, this is, this is great. And again, it's going to be on our website, Cuisine with Jean. And, um, I want to tell you when I, when I go in the Salvation Army, there's a, what well, you say, the spirit of God is there mm -hmm. because you just, the, Praise the God. love, the warmth of the people who work there, it's just very obvious to everybody walking in oh. that, that this is God's place and the chapel that y'all and I think your husband has chosen the artwork and everything yeah. and it's yeah, yeah. it's very really special. Mm -hmm. Well, we love people and that's why I like working there because they mm -hmm. great. And I want to mention Hilda Howell, who is also comes there a lot. Who yeah. was my neighbor who kind of rescued me after my fire with wow. lots of love and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And she's there spreading the love too. So. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Well, Claudia and Amelia, thank you, thank you so much. And this is wonderful. And we will see you next week. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you've been waiting for the right time to shop for a car, your wait is over. Davenport Auto Park has a lot full of late model pre-loved cars. That's right, they're on the lot, fully inspected and ready to go. And there's more on the way. So come on in for the deal of your life on the ride of your life. We have inventory, all kinds of cars for all kinds of folks. We promise you'll find what you're looking for at Davenport Auto Park or we'll find it for you. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount.